So our students are excited and they're engaged. They are really enjoying the challenges um, that our programs are providing. Every parent wants their child to be provided opportunities to reach their potential. And it's important that we advocate for all students. When we began this work, we had limited numbers in particular populations. And so it's exciting when students are seeing peers from similar culturally, linguistically, um, economically diverse backgrounds sitting in those classes with them. Um, they're noticing that they're not the only one. I have worked for many years um, in Seminole County, um, specifically um, at turnaround schools and schools that have a higher at-risk population. And um, I had the privilege of making sure that all students had opportunities. And looking at the data, um, it was evident that your zip code determined whether you had the opportunity to participate, be screened, or, or be part of the gifted program. Frequently what happens um, students who are wealthier have parents who advocate for them, which is outstanding, and we, we have great programs and opportunities for those children. But students that don't have parents that are advocating for them, we need to make sure that we provide the opportunity for all. As a school psychologist, I have evaluated nearly a thousand children in all schools from Title I to schools who are serving middle and upper class children. And during that time, I noticed there was a significant discrepancy for the number of referrals that I was receiving for gifted evaluations. And I also noticed that there was limited diversity in those referrals as well. So part of our training in working with teachers is trying to address stereotypes and misconceptions of giftedness. Whoa. Oh my god! That's fast. Time? 16 seconds. Oh. Yeah. One of the ways that we are working with teachers is providing virtual classrooms where our teachers are able to interact live with student avatars. See, you are funny. You do have a great sense of humor. It's okay. It is. I still don't feel like uh, very funny. With this technology, teachers are able to interact live to address and recognize characteristics and traits. And also they're able to practice instructional strategies without harming any real children. Yeah, I'm very, very proud of, of the work that Jeanette has done and, and her team. The most important part of all of this work is making sure that there are opportunities for all students. At the end of the day, it's all about children, it's all about students, and it's all about opportunities. And what did you learn when you were building? Uh, when it starts at the top, we'll get more speed to go down and go. Okay. All right, uh, boys and girls, thank you so much.